Uh, hi everyone, we are here with Patrick Hoban and the second place of the World Championship, Mateo, of course, oh. best player in Peru. Yes. <laughs> What's going on, guys? So. How's it going? Um, yeah, I came to Bolivia, it was a really cool experience. Um, it was hard to get here, we needed a lot of stuff, like yellow fever vaccine, we needed a visa, it's the first time I've ever needed a visa. Um, but I am playing visas, so <laughs> yeah, I made top 32, um, and yeah, I guess let's get into it. So I played um, two visas, Starfrost, I played three Meek, I played three Samsara, I like Samsara. Um, I think the worst thing about it is if it like gets stuck in your hand, like if they interrupt uh, visas and then this is stuck in your hand, it could be a little bit of a problem. Um, but overall, like it's really strong, it, it helps a lot because like your worst hands are the hands without level fours. Um, and so you really want to max out on those, even though I'm not maxing out on Rykart. <laughs> uh, speaking of which, I'm playing two Rykart. Um, I don't think three is bad. Um, this card is, is weird. Like I have thought it's everything from a one of to a three of. Um, I ended up settling on a two of, but um, it is really good because like if you're going into a board, it's usually the card that you want to summon into it because it just, um, like even if they respond to it, you can immediately turn it into the next card with the scare falling. Um, so it's, it's probably the best one going second um, to normal summon at least. And then I played three Roomheart, I played three Fenrir, and a Scareclaw, and then I played three Ash Blossom as well. Then for the spells, I played one Prosperity. Um, last week in Indy, Kamal told me I was being lazy playing one of this card and or I was playing two last week and I was being even lazier this week I cut it to one um and I think he's right I uh I know this card's not played in a lot of vanadium decks like the scareclaw gets a draw um but I, I find hard to justify like not playing this card in pretty much every deck outside of maybe like a runic deck or something but um I like this card and I think I probably should have played more of it um then I played three droplets um Gabe told me to play this card, and he said it was really good for him, so I tried it a little bit, and um, it was really good in my testing, and then when I played the YCS, it was okay. Um, I lost, I think, two games when I drew it going second, so it was like, okay, maybe I'd play it again, maybe I wouldn't. Um, I played two of the field spell. I used to like this as a one of, um, but the thing that really made me push it to two is that when you go second, like sometimes this is a good draw. Like they're gonna want to interrupt you making the link one and searching this card. So then if you can follow up by playing it, um, it's usually pretty strong and then it pops a card. So um, yeah, I ended up playing two. And I played three Calarium. Um, Calarium is like significantly worse than Roomheart is. Um, if you're not playing the tier field spell, which I'm not, um, but it is still um, probably the best first search to have if you get drolled um because you want to set up your plays where it's like you have meek and visas and uh room heart and then get to whatever missing pieces that those are you never want to start with like obsession or the link one um so this is like the best first search under droll um then i played rota i played um planet to be able to search fenrir and the scareclaw I played Terraforming. I cited these out um, when people would cite in, you know, more drills than were main deck. Um, but in the main deck, they were good. And then I played two Obsession. It's simultaneously the best card in the deck and the worst card to droll. Um, but this card's really, really good. Uh, it, it lets you push through so much. And being able to special from hand is, it, it like breaks a game mechanic. So I think it's like really good. And I played two Arrival. Um, I, like playing two of this because it makes drawing one of them not a brick because it's not once per turn. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's always live, so I like it. And then I played three Imperm and I played Reframing. I really did not want to play Reframing, um, but as you'll see in a second, I'm Omega looping. And so like if my 
um, inboard was Baron, um, disc batter, SP, and then I hit two out of their hand with Omega. If they like normal summon an Ash Blossom and make Typhoon, it outs the whole board. And so I was really scared of that, so I ended up playing Reframing because of that. Um, I don't think I ever actually used it on a Typhoon, but yeah, that's why I was in the deck. Um, and then I played, for the extra deck, I played Baron, Dust Banner, and Chinging as the tens. The Chinging is definitely a flexible spot. Um, I made it a couple times, it was good a couple times, but I'm sure other cards that were in its place would also have been good like a couple times. Um, and I think, I think having cards like this in your extra deck is like another reason that like prosperity doesn't hurt as much as you think. Like I'm also playing Typhoon. Um, and so this card's okay. Um, it, I think these are like the 14th and 15th card extra deck slots. Um, but, uh, you know, the, it, it can come up in grind games, you know, it can out like a mirror jade. That's really good. Um, maybe I'd play both of those again. Uh, I'm still on the fence about those. Uh, Crimson to get this batter. Excel to get this batter. And then Omega, um, because, <laughs> which you saw my back off this batter. Uh, the Visa Synchro and the Manadium Synchro. This card really makes the deck everything you wanted it. Like it, this deck effectively got the upgrade that every deck wants where it becomes like a one card deck after being a two card deck and it's because of this card. And so I think this deck is like really powerful. Like it doesn't have bad matchups. It only has like droll as a bad matchup, but there's no like individual deck. It's, it's only like specific cards. Um, and this card just, yeah, I mean, this card's insane. It's, it's literally why I think Manadium's the best deck. Um, then I play just too vicious. You can, um, shuffle it, you can banish it off SP and then shuffle it back. So you don't need the third. I played SP. Um, SP was really good in this deck. Um, at points I even wanted two. Um, being able to banish, like, a hand trap from their grave and be able to start their turn with um, with this banner, being able to negate something if you couldn't get to Omega um, is, is really strong. And before this card came out, I was literally going uh, Baron pop my own cross sheep, so it'd make it less likely to get Zeus. And now it gives you something to do with the extra one. Um, and so I like it a lot. And then I played cross sheep and two of the link ones. And then for the side deck, I played three drolls. Um, it was mostly for just like, I don't even love this card against dragons. Like it's good against Manadium. Um, uh, it's, I don't like it against Rescue Ace, um, but I feel like you're gonna take a loss to something like a Manadium or a Infernoble like throughout the course of the tournament if you don't play this on the side. So um, yeah, and then I played three shifters. Um, the Manadium deck can play decently well under shifter. You can, you know, special back me, special um, off the field spell on the shifter. And so you can put up like a more normal board under shifter than a lot of decks that get affected by shifter can. And then I played Panker Tops. Um, I drew it like once or twice. It, it was solid when I drew it, but I think it's like fairly low impact. Um, I played two effect veilers. It was mostly for rescue ace. Um, I would also side against things like Pearly, but um, I decided also that I liked if I got drolled and had to pass on something that wasn't sub that wasn't like amazing, that having cards like Baylor in my hands when that happened is kind of like what I wanted to happen. Played Cowboy and Dweller. And then I played um, Harpies, two Lightning Storm, and a Called By. And that is the deck. Um, yeah, it was really cool coming to Bolivia, first time here. And looking forward to the next one. Shout out to Team Planita. And see you guys next time.